Hey guys, so today for dinner, we'll be making mahi mahi in my kitchen today. All right, now the first ingredient that we're gonna need for this, cause I love vegetables. Um, you're gonna have to get some mixed vegetables. I'm only gonna use one cup of the mixed vegetables. All right, so here's my one cup of vegetables and here's my one and one half tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my pan. And I'm gonna put this at medium heat. All right, and now I'm gonna let that sit for about two or three minutes until it starts to heat up. And I'm gonna add the vegetables to the pan. Now, while the pan is um, heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and do the spread for the fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one and one and a half tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of black pepper, half tablespoon of salt. It's all mixed in here. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to it right here to the mixture. A tablespoon of lemon. And I'm gonna go ahead and add four cloves of garlic to the spread. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix this around. So it should look something like that. All right. Now the reason why I chose this fish is because it's so much more easier. It's already peeled and everything. Just gonna go ahead and open the bags and start marinating. So here I'm just gonna open the bags. These were thawed out for a few hours. Maybe four time. These are eight ounces. Go ahead and set that one down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the vegetables right now. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Medium heat. And here I am just marinating the fish. Now you're gonna wanna do both sides. So you have one side. You can put as much as you want on there. So you're gonna wanna marinate every part of the fish with this spread. And just like that. Okay, there we go, so it sh should look something like that. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes on the veggies. They look pretty much ready. Go ahead and put these on my plate. wash this out and then add the here I have one and one half of olive oil I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my pan okay I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up to medium heat I'm gonna set this aside I'm just gonna wait a few seconds and then I'm gonna add my fish. All right, so I got my tonsils, and tongs, I mean. I'll go ahead and move that out of the way. Get my fish. All 
and set it in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one in there. Okay. Now we're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. And then we're gonna flip it over and see if it's nice and golden. If not, we're gonna let it sit for another five minutes. So five minutes on each side mm -hmm. until golden. All right, and I will also link the ingredients down in the box below in the description. All right, so it's been about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over. They're kind of golden. All right. There we go. Let that sit for five more minutes on the other side. We'll come back to this in five minutes. So I'm gonna keep flipping this every five minutes so I don't burn it. Until every side is golden. Alright, this looks just exactly how I like it. Nice and golden on both sides. There we go. I'm just going to check it out real fast. Oh yeah, that is so ready. There we go. And that, right there, is a perfect dish it's simple it's easy and it smells delicious i'm gonna go ahead and try it right now see how good it tastes look at that all right mm. The mahi-mahi is so tender and so juicy. It has so much flavor. Wonderful. Completely goes good with the fish. It is an amazing dish. I'm in love with this new dish that I just made. All right, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos like this. Till next time, peace out.